Okay. Hello, friends. I'm Kim Passable. Welcome back. We are doing home improvement, and as always, it's dangerous. Today, we're going to be playing with water and fire. My first hint that there was something wrong was this wet spot here on the floor. And you follow it up to find some piping. And then I found a drop of water right there. And then the most hideous, hideous, hideous uh, copper solder joint that I've seen in ages. It's, uh, it's white. Hopefully that's lime and not lead, but either way, water was pooling on here and dripping down to the floor, which is not good. So I was doing all this work up, up above me in here, taking out stuff and putting in insulation and, you know, one wrong move with pressure in that pipe, one wrong move with pressure in a joint that bad and it could separate, burst apart, and then and our water pressure is at least 50. It's probably 70 PSI. It's city water and the pressure is, is robust. And there is nothing to limit it. It will run until someone catches it and shuts it off. So even if I'm standing right here when the pipe blows apart, a lot of water is going to come out of that pipe before I can run across the basement and um, and get it shut down. And, um, you know, luckily that didn't happen. I saw it there. And I looked at it, and I looked at it, and I, and I tried to look away. I tried to look away, because the project just keeps bloating. I tried to look away. But now that I saw it, it was bound to burst. I mean, like, it's just my... <sighs> and in the middle of all this construction, I can't call the landlord and have them come in, because I didn't really get it approved with the landlord. I just started trying to paint. All I was trying to do was paint. I didn't need permission to paint. This happens to me. I hate it. I want to stop. I want it to be done. I really am getting afraid. Like, please, please, project be done. Okay, well, here we are. When you're soldering on copper pipes, if there's water in them, the water will turn to steam, but the temperature of steam is considerably lower than the melting point of solder in the copper pipe. So you'll create steam, but the pipe won't get hot enough um, until all the steam is blown out. And um, that's just a lot of work. We want to get rid of as much water as humanly possible before we start putting heat on the pipes. Found a valve downstream a little ways. We're going to take it apart and that is going to allow us to drain the water thoroughly without banging and, and, and trying to move the pipes in any kind of special way. So we're going to jump over there and do that. Once that works, once that works, we're going to come back. Don't try this at home. I am a professional. I went to school for plumbing. I rarely set myself on fire. A couple times. Now then, basically, I open up the faucet in the basement, just the hot water. I open up all the faucets on the second, uh, on the first and second floor. So the kitchen faucet, which is the where the pipe is going to, and then. The shower faucet, which luckily it is a separate hot and cold, so you don't have to worry about them uh, circulating between the two. And the, the hot water faucet from the sink upstairs. That's all the hot water faucets that are in my house. Um, so everything should drain down and then out the sink down here in the basement. Now, it's never that simple. Water loves to just lay in flat runs of pipe. It's all copper pipe and it's it's sort of mixed in around some of the beams in such ways that I'm sure there's some low spots. So I have conveniently located a valve and uh, whoever installed it was smart. They put the handle down. We're going to remove the, this, this stem packing. 
And what that's going to allow us to do is drain from the very lowest part of this fitting, this whole run of pipe, and that's going to be really good. That's going to drain out everything that we need to do. So um, I think this could be really funny because water's going to shoot out of here. I mean, it's going to go, water's going to go, when I take this out, there's, there's not pressure in this pipe, right? There's water in there, and it's going to be like, or maybe it won't. Maybe it won't. Like, this, I'm pretty good at this. It, it, this might go okay. I'm pretty good at what I'm, with plumbing. I, I, I'm, pro, plumbing is my pro moves. About three quarters. Three quarters fits nice and snug. And what we want to do is turn it counterclockwise. So I've got it on the wrong way there. Okay, and then come on with me here. Come on. Oh, it doesn't want to go. No brass fitting. So brass fittings are pretty soft. I might have to might have to do okay. It's always harder than it's supposed to be. Always. Always. And we're back. Are we recording? Yes, five minutes in. All right, let's see if we can get this handle off of here. If we can, we can put this wrench, we can put the box end of the wrench over there. That'll get all the corners. Oh, look at that. We didn't even have to get a handle puller. It fell right off of there like, like butter. Wonderful. Okay, set that conveniently out of the way where we'll lose it. See if this will go on. Nah, it doesn't want to find its way over the packing nut. We'll just take the packing nut off real quick. Take it down. Okay. There we go. All right, I'll get you nice and close so you can see what's happening here. And then, when the water comes out, we can try and ruin my camera with you. Okay, there we go. We'll try not to bump you around too much. I'm a little shaky this time of day. Okay, so how this works is this portion... Here, what about that? Is that a little better? Okay. This threads in to the fitting so we can take it mechanically apart instead of drain. That'll be a nice low spot for water to drain out of that pipe. So I'll put you back on the tripod and you can watch while stupid ensues. Some water's gonna come out of there. Hopefully not too much. We got it drained. Oh, that's not so bad. Come on now. How much water do you think is supposed to be in that pipe? Not bad. Now, interesting to note, if I had had an emergency, that there is no rubber seat in that valve. So, uh, it would have been worthless to shut the water off. Well, anyways, we got this far. Okay, now the water's drained. We're going to go back to the bad fitting, clean it up, take it apart, and re-solder. Wish me luck. Oh my god, I can't believe that worked!
<laughs> it worked. Okay, no water. We've got all the draining. I mean, that, that's half the battle. Half the battle? I don't know. It's a pretty big battle. It's, it's how it goes. In my life, it's what happened. We are going to do our best to separate this joint, clean it, flux it, and solder it back together. Can you see it? It's actually not even... Oh, wow. That is so bad. I was able to crack it with my bare hands and... There it goes. It's a part. I don't think it was ever fully soldered like it was supposed to be. Never, it's never this easy, honey. Never. <sighs> if it could only actually be this easy, but I mean, it's going really well. It helps that, that this ain't my first rodeo. It's my first gay rodeo. <laughs> you have to take the joint apart. If you start heating it and trying to solder it, it's not going to happen. If you can't get it apart with heat and separation or mechanical motion, then you have to cut it out. It all has to be dry and clean and fluxed before you expect it to solder. So, I mean, that is what we're going for. That is what's going to happen here. We've, we've got the... Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, I've got my um, plumber's quality um, acetylene-powered turbo torch. So this is a nice big tip, um, and I normally wouldn't use this on pipe this small. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to... I'm just going to use it to clean the old pipe off real quick. Um, so, you know, it's got a little knob, and we just... The regulator's already set. That's not going to work. Too much flame. That's a little more to speed what we're looking for. And... Cleaned it with the brush very well. I've inspected it closely with the light. I can see that the inside of this joint is shiny. The outside of this pipe is shiny. The two fit together very well. It goes all the way to the stop, which did not go in that far before, so we're doing good. And uh, we've got flux everywhere we need to go. Okay. We can get some over here. We're going to try not to catch my hand on fire. It needs to be done. Ow, 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 ow. That's a lot more solder than I needed, but that's life. Ah, uh, I don't need any solder over here. No solder under here. Why? Why? Why does this happen? Of course it's... Of course there's not. Of course it's not. All right, damage control. And if there's any plumbers, they're gonna read me because I should have got that. So, how it went. I, uh, the battery died and I had to leave it. This uh, union that I was trying to solder and reuse did not work. When I turned the water on and it got all the valves upstairs closed so all the, there was pressure in the pipe. Water was squeezing out the side. You can see inside there there was a spot where it's still black. Can you see it? Instead of being all shiny there's spots where it was black. Same on this other side. It just didn't, it didn't make good uh, a joint and it was leaking. So I had to heat it up, take that off. So I had two male ends of pipe so I could clean those really good and flux those. And then see, this is an, an elbow, a brand new elbow. See how pretty, uh, pretty and shiny inside it's shiny. So I had a union, a straight one of these. And um, 
So why didn't I do that in the first place? Well, because it, I don't know. I should have just done that in the first place, but there she is. So, uh, it's not beautiful, but it is beautiful because it is done. Side quest completed. Copper, copper metal acquired. Uh, plumbing, somehow related to painting, in what way, I don't know, except that if, if that old fitting were to blow apart, um, somehow it would be my fault um, because I was near it last. Um, so anyways, it's fixed. I don't have to worry about that. Um, I'm confident that that is a, a good repair. Anyways, I have been Compassible. Until next time, thank you for watching. Bye.